Hello everyone, Don with Resolute Outdoors here. Today we're going to take a look at my pair of Halls 621 boots. These are a made in the USA, saw almost all leather boot. Um, they are designed as lineman's boots, so people who operate in power lines. And they retail for about $250 or so. I have had these boots for probably a little over two years now and worn them almost every day to work, you know, probably five days a week or so, because uh, five days a week or so between work and the weekends and everything like that. So I put a lot of use on these boots. I've worn them pretty extensively. Um, for at work, these kind of replace the double H boots I had used in the past. If you've seen that review I did in the past on those, just kind of an update on the double H boots. They are still excellent and I still use them. Use them. Um, they're more for yard work now. I moved to these strictly because I needed to have a steel toe boot for my day to day work as compared to the double H boots weren't the steel toe variety. But speaking of that pair of double H boots, these boots were actually made in the same factory. I um, got these from the same factory outlet. You can kind of see this defect here. This model of boot typically doesn't have a logo on it. It looks like they started to put a logo on and realized they weren't supposed to, so they stopped. You can actually kind of see the embroidery better on the back where they made the mistake, and that's the, the linesman, obviously, the power line. So that's why these are at the factory out. That's why I was able to get these on sale here, on the deal. But everything else is perfect on them. You now, the fit and finish is great on these. Obviously, they've seen a lot of wear over the years. I've done a lot of hiking in these boots. Done a lot of working in these boots. Um, you know, these are my, like I said, these are my primary work boot here. Um, they've held up really well. The leather has taken some pretty deep cuts and held up fine. These shine up really nice with open offs. Um, leather polish, I don't, you know, they were a little bit lighter colored that did darken them up. So don't use the open offs if you are um, worried about the color changing. But they've held up remarkably well. I like that the leather goes the whole way from the lower to the upper as well. It's not a different material. And really, it, it might be a slightly different weight of leather, but it's very, very comparable. I mean, you can see that nice leather there. There's some stray strings I should trim off. That's kind of worked loose. But the pull tabs are excellent. These are really, really durable pull tabs here. Um, I, work, I use these pretty aggressively. Obviously, being a slip-on style boot, um, I use the pull tabs pretty aggressively. And uh, I've, I've messed up pull tabs on other boots, and I haven't on these. So I've been very pleased by the quality of construction and the quality of materials on these Halls boots. Um, another thing that I really like about these boots in particular is that I wouldn't wear these with a suit, but I wear these going out with jeans and a polo. I'll even wear these to church. Um, there's no... No issue at all, you put jeans on, it kind of comes down to here. It's the same functionality as a cowboy boot in a lot of ways, but obviously it's not. It's, you know, not the same shape, not the same size. And the steel toe, the extra weight doesn't bother me because I'm used to it from using it all week. So that doesn't really bother me. Now the sole is just some leather. They have this Vibram is what their brand is. Um, I think it's supposed to just be lower lower shock resistance when you walk. I've liked plenty of these and haven't noticed any issues, so maybe that's due to that type of sole. Maybe not, but either way, I put a lot of hiking miles and walking miles on these on top of my normal day-to-day -day work. Um, they've been great. The soles have held up really well. This tread pattern's okay. I would like a little bit nicer, a little bit more aggressive pattern, but it has held up super, super well. I mean, you can still see how deep a lot of those grooves are still pretty deep for the age of these boots. And on top of the fact, since the leather is so nice, these would be a pair of boots that would be worth getting resold when the time comes. I think overall, um, obviously they're made in the same factory as the double H boots and I had nothing but good things to say about those. And the same with these, these are excellent quality, excellent workmanship. I've used them very extensively in the past years and have nothing bad to say about these. These have quickly become Probably one of my favorite pairs of boots, just because I can wear these every day and they are a little bit more useful um, because I can wear them in, I want to say formal, but more casual settings compared to just work. Um, 
and the slip on feature is really nice. Um, when you slip these on, they give you enough grip, enough traction with your foot not flopping around. What I mean, not, not grip or traction, but um, grab to your foot that you're not flopping around. Your feet aren't going everywhere, but they're also not constricting and not too hard to put on your feet. It's been a while, but I don't think the braking was very hard on these either. Um, the hardest braking was probably just getting used to these uppers, kind of getting these creases where your legs bend. Um, this is very thick leather, so until this kind of wore in, it was a little, you could really feel this leather kind of bending and moving as you moved. But overall, these are some excellent boots. I would highly recommend them. I think $250 for American made quality with this quality material is great. Um, I, if you're not a lineman, I'm not a lineman, but I would not hesitate to buy this pair of boots just as a daily driver. Even if you don't need the steel toes, I still think they're a great option. The steel toes don't add that much weight to them. You wear them for a little while, you get used to them. It's not a big deal. Um, so if you just want them just to do things around the shop, around the house, they're a great option as well. So let me know down below if you have Halls boots. I know, I think they're typically, um, Halls is more obviously like a lineman electrical related. So there might not be too many people who use this brand of boots for just your everyday um, kind of work, but I think they're a great option. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know down below if you use these boots and what you think about them. This is Don with Resolute Outdoors. Until next time, I'll see you.